All right, artists, today I'm going to teach you how to draw your own Ming Dynasty inspired face. For this lesson, you will need a piece of paper. An eraser would be great. My pencil, you will need a pencil. It doesn't really have an eraser on the back, so I have an eraser here. Different kinds of blues, because remember, if you haven't watched on my video yet about Ming Dynasty pottery, go watch that first and you will find out about all the beautiful different blues that they put on their beautiful white porcelain pottery and a black marker. You are going to take your piece of paper and you're going to take one side and you're going to fold it in half. When you fold it in half and bring it over, you want this line to line up with this line. This is not very lined up. You are going to have to try your best. If it is not perfect, that's okay, but line it up the best you can. Hold it down so it doesn't move away and you're going to fold down your paper. That fold created the very middle of your paper. You can probably kind of see a line there. And you are going to draw one side of your vase on one side of that fold because we're gonna eventually be able to rub that side on over to the other side and make a symmetrical bowl. That means it looks the same on both sides. Kind of like if you were to look at a butterfly from the top, how both wings on either side of the butterfly look exactly the same. So my artist, you are gonna draw out your vase first. You can add handles to your vase if you would like. Um, it could have a skinny top or a wide top. It could go into a tiny bottom or a little, little fat bottom. It is your choice what you do. And once you kind of have it lightly drawn out how you would like it, you are going to take your pencil and you are going to make a dark line. We made a light line first because lighter lines are easier to erase than darker lines. Once you have your dark lines drawn on top of the lines you want to keep, you're going to fold your paper back in half and with the side of your pencil you're going to push down and you are going to rub the back of the paper. This is going to push down your hard pencil lines onto the other side of your paper to make that symmetrical base. Now if I open this up and I don't see it completely transferred over, I can always close it back up push a little harder, or if I missed a spot, I can rub in that spot, then I can open it up. And you'll see it's like magic. This side is now moved over to this side, and I can take my pencil now, and I can fill that in. After I have my pencil lines drawn, I can take my black marker, and I can outline the whole thing. After I've outlined the whole thing, I can start drawing the designs and the images to go on my face. If you are struggling to think of any ideas, here are some examples you can look at. I am going to make my drawing inspired by um, flowers that are pink and they grow in China and they're very beautiful. So I think I'm going to do my design off of that. You don't have to do the designs. 
I showed you in the picture examples. You can do your own ideas. That's perfectly fine too. After I have everything drawn out in pencil, I'm going to go over all of those lines with my black marker. artist when you finish outlining everything in your black you can take your eraser and you can carefully erase any pencil lines you don't want to show in your final piece Last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add your different blues. And we have different blues because if we just use the same blue over and over again, some of the colors might get washed out or not show as brightly or some things might not stand out from other things and it might just all blend together. So we wanna make sure to think about where we're placing our lighter colors. I'm gonna make my branches, I think a dark blue. I think I'm going to make just the bottoms of the leaves a dark blue. And then with my light blue, I'm going to fill in the rest of the leaves with a light blue. And then with a little bit on the petals, I'm going to add just a little bit of blue to make them pop out. That's what I'm going to do, but whatever you do is up to you. I have finished my vase. It looks a little different from my first vase that I did, but that's fine. I added a bird in this one and different designs at the bottom. And even when I got done, I still wanted to add certain things that I might not have even added with the black marker. I did these little fun blue swirls. So honestly, artists, it's totally up to you. If you make a Ming Dynasty inspired ceramic vase drawing, Woo, that was a lot to say, but wow, if you made that fantastic stuff, please feel free to send it my way and I would love to share into the art gallery. You could add a table behind your vase. You could add flowers growing out of your vase. There's so much more you could do to this as well, artists, than just this. So go ahead, go explore and have lots of fun. Thank you for listening.